Hi, it is Bayram here and in this video I would like to show you how to install latest GNU C++ compiler on Windows 10 environment and I would like to show you as well how to write a simple C++ code, compile it and execute it. We are going to go to msys2.org website. On this website, if you are using 64-bit computer operating system, you should download this one. Otherwise, if your operating system is 32-bit, then you need to download i686 version. Since my operating system is 64-bit, I'm going to download this one. While it is downloading, I would like to show you something here. There is a package list. Let's browse it. On the left side, we see a repos link. And in the repos link, we are going to see that there are four repos. Two repos for MinGW and two repos for MSYS. We are not going to install GNU compiler system for MSYS. We are going to install it for MinGW. Because if we install MSYS, then the compiler outputs are not going to be native Windows executables. That's why we are going to install compiler for MinGW. Let's see if download is done. It is done. So I just click on it and start installation process. Say next. I would like to install it to the default location. So I say next. Next again. So this way we start the installation. After this, we are going to do some updates and install GCC compiler packages, including GDB, which is the debugger. So let's go to here. I would like to show you this one, search, and let's for GCC. And in the found packages, we see there are three options. GCC, this is the one for MSYS. We are not going to install it. There is also GCC, mean GW, cross GCC. We are not going to install this either. Third option is the one that we are going to install. Mean GW, W64 GCC. And here we see which package that we are going to install. You see some packages have the suffix I686. We are not going to install them because my operating system is 64 bit. So I'm going to install X8664. So installation continues. Let's wait for it. Now the installation is finished. Um, let's keep run MSYS to 64 bit now option and I click finish. So it opens a command line interface and let's have this update command and copy and paste it here. So don't forget to put this disable download timeout because on the website while installing it, it doesn't show that one, but it create some problems okay it just shows this but we are not just going to do that we are adding disable download timeout it's very crucial so please add that now let's hit enter proceed with installation hit enter again now all the update is done it says that terminate without returning to shell. That means we are just going to click this X here and close the window. Okay, let's do that. Just hit OK. Don't worry about this. Now let's go to the installation folder. It is here, MSYS64. And inside this, what we see is MSYS2.exe. So let's run it. It opens the command line again. We need to continue to update process. So we need to repeat the same thing in order to continue with updates. 
let's do that and let's hit enter again with this update is completed we can proceed to installing gcc compiler and for that what we are going to do we will install this one min gw64 one and i click on this and now it shows what to do in order to install this so i copy this paste it here but i don't forget to put this disable download timeout at the end paste now i click enter and hit enter again to start installation gcc installation is done and now let's do gdb installation as well it is almost same as gcc installation but instead of gcc we are going to type gdb hit enter again gdb installation is also finished one last package left to install and it is make instead of gdb we type make here and hit enter and hit enter again now all, all the installation is done in order to compile a c++ program what we need is to use g++ executable and in order to use that executable we need to do one setting so i exit this command line and i enter into min gw64 and bin i copy the path here and we need to add this path to the environment variables path how we do that go to environment variables and here and go to system variables you will see one variable that is called path double click it and say new and paste the path that we copied there say ok ok and it is done now let's write a simple c++ program compile it and run it for that i'm going to use notepad plus plus so what we do the simple c++ program is the hello world program that will print hello world to the command line screen first we include io stream library and then we start the main method main method parentheses the block parentheses without forgetting we say return zero from the main method and what we do here std c out and in quotation marks hello world from latest GNU GCC and we put this backslash and n in order to put a new line on the common line so let's save it I will save it in under development C++ and here I will save it with the name hello world let me open a new folder let's say it hello and i will save it with hello.cpp so as you see when we saved it as cpp then notepad plus plus is colored some text in order to make it easier to read the c plus plus code so in order to compile it we need to open the command line okay so i open open containing folder in cmd common window and let's also open the containing folder in explorer and i put this to the left and command line to the right as we see there is only one file here so what we are going to do is this g plus plus and then name of the file hello cpp and if we hit enter here 
didn't recognize that there is a program called G++ because after adding path, I had to restart Notepad++ because through Notepad++ I opened the command line. So let me do that. Let's close it and I will restart Notepad++ and open the command line again and put it on the right and I will type the same thing. G++ hello.cpp and I hit enter. What we see that a.exe file is produced. If we want another name for this produced program, we do this dash o and the name of the file that we want and hit enter. And in this case, what we see hello.exe file is produced. In order to run it, we write the name of the program. If we write only the beginning, we can tap, we can hit the tap button and hit tap button again. And this is the program that we are going to run. So hit enter to run the program. And we see hello world from latest GNU GCC. So this is the way how we install the latest GNU GCC compiler on Windows 10 environment and how we write a simple C++ program, compile it and run it. If you like my video, please hit like button and you can subscribe to my channel in order to see similar videos.